What is up guys, it's Janine. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another episode of Jay's Healthy Lifestyle Favorites. These are my favorites for November, so stay tuned. Before I get started, if you follow me on Instagram, which I will put up here, then you might have already seen me using these. These are really some of my favorite items that I have just been loving lately. And for those of you who don't know, I kind of believe in like a flexible dieting approach to nutrition. While I think it's really important to eat mostly whole foods, I think it's, it's also important to incorporate things that you love and things that you can get excited about and just to keep your eating interesting. That's what makes it really, you know, long-term and sustainable um, in terms of following a healthy lifestyle. So it's really important that I'm always trying to find things that get me excited, things that get you excited, they get my clients excited about um, what they're gonna eat. So a lot of what you'll see in today's video are some food items that I love that are really macro friendly and really easy to incorporate into your macros, but also just some other healthy lifestyle favorites. So I will go ahead and get, so I will start out with food items. And if you have not already checked out my last month's favorites video, for um, healthy lifestyle stuff. I will link it here. You can go ahead and take a look at that. I did mention Siete in that video. Siete is going to be in this video as well. It's a brand, a very clean, um, macro-friendly, like Mexican food options that are just so delicious. And so they always kind of make it into my favorite. So first up is the Siete cassava flour. I think that in the last video I mentioned the almond flour tortillas. These are the cassava. The reason I like the cassava flours tortillas is because they are a little lighter on the calories. So you could actually, and you can see this is a pretty large size tortilla. You get two tortillas for 130 calories. And that's, that's a really good portion size. It does have slightly more carbohydrates than um, the almond flour, but if you are either like low carb or moderate carb macros, you can definitely incorporate these into your macros. And like I said, if you're trying to eat in a caloric deficit and try to get as much volume as you can um, for the macros that you're eating, then something like this would be great because you can have two tortillas and you're only using 130 calories. So. Delicious. All right, next up is another Siete item. I will get those out of the way. No, I'm not sponsored, but I should be, um, is the Cashew, cashew Queso. Um, I got this at Sprouts. You know, I think Siete is kind of like popping up all over the place. So check your local grocery store. Um, but this is like a cheesy dip, but it's dairy free. And it is so delicious, so macro friendly. Two tablespoons is 35 calories and two carbs. So really easy to implement this into your macros and it's super clean ingredients like everything that Siete does it's just super super clean um and it's just a really nice a nice little snack or you can use it as like a dipping sauce for your chicken or put it on your your fish whatever it is you can get creative with it but it really is all right last Siete item for this particular favorites I promise but this was a new discovery this is the Siete enchilada sauce made with avocado oil a quarter cup is good enough for two enchiladas and that is only 35 calories and five carbs. So the macros on this are so amazing and excellent. And also just like with everything else they do, the ingredients are super clean. There's apple cider vinegar, water, chili powder, avocado oil, and then some seasonings along with flax seed and chia seeds. So it just, it couldn't, it couldn't be better guys, honestly. And so good with the siete tortilla put some shredded some shredded chicken in there maybe some cheese add some enchilada sauce and you've got yourself a really low calorie very clean enchilada all right next up are these grain free taco shells now although these are from sprouts um siete does have these but they haven't been in stock in my grocery store so i've been getting these which are also excellent this is the sprouts brand but um, Siete has them as well, so look for them. It's basically grain-free taco shells. Excellent macros, like I said, more so for like low carb or moderate carb, not necessarily keto, because two taco shells is 18 carbs and 130 calories, but such a great and delicious option for like Taco Tuesday. Put in some, some ground turkey meat in there um, with some cheese or some lettuce and pico de gallo, and you've got yourself a really good, clean tacos. 
You guys, I'm gonna take a little pause here for a second because my house gets crazy whenever there's someone outside. Karma, stop barking, but how cute is Apollo? Apollo, come say hi. It's so cute. Is there anybody here? Are we good? Okay, we're good. All right, I think my dogs have stopped barking so I can continue. Um, moving on. I only have one slice left in here. This is actually a Trader Joe's favorite. Like, like I said before, and let me actually take a pause here. I actually am a nutrition and fitness coach. I have a program called Body Boot Camp where I teach you how to incorporate macros and flexible dieting and follow the 80-20 rule and just make your healthy lifestyle a long-term sustainable lifestyle. You can reach your weight loss goals, and then I also teach you how to maintain them long-term. Um, all while incorporating balance. So my program kind of teaches you everything in moderation. So while I don't recommend that you have dairy every day or alcohol every day or, you know, a lot of processed foods and snacks, I do allow for it in my program and I teach you in my program how to incorporate things like dairy and processed foods, but without going overboard. So anyways, that being said, I do like to incorporate cheese here and there. So a few times a week, I will have cheese on my taco. Um, this is one of my favorite cheeses when I do that. It's Havarti from Trader Joe's. And I get the light. Like I said, I am, listen, especially when I'm trying to be in a caloric deficit, I definitely like things that are macro friendly. I like to, I like volume. I'm a volume eater. And so the light version only has 70 calories for one ounce, which is one entire slice, which I love. I love to do like inside out tacos. So basically what I would do is I put a slice of cheese on the pan and then I put the tortilla on top of it and I let the cheese kind of fry up and crisp on the outside of the tortilla. And then I will put my protein inside the tortilla. That is my favorite way to use the cheese and it's so delicious. Like I said, I don't eat cheese every day, but when I do, a lot of the times, it's a slice of this light Havarti from Trader Joe's. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. It's so good, and like I said before, very macro friendly. It's got eight grams of protein for one slice, four and a half carbs, and I mean, I'm sorry, four and a half fats and 70 calories, no carbs, obviously, so moving on. Also guys, if you are interested in more information about my body boot camps, um, my registration is closed right now. It is opening again November 27th. I'm gonna have a Black Friday only special that's on Friday only, but then registration will stay open throughout December and the program starts January 4th. So I only run programs every two months. And so mark your calendars if you are interested or drop your email in my email list on my website to get the email and get notified when registration opens up. And I will link everything down below in the description box so you can check out more details about the program, what it's about, maybe it's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and check that out. So moving on. All right, next up is this organic matcha. I found this at Costco. The brand is Sencha. They also have it on Amazon. So I will link everything I can down below or I'll at least list it with the brand name so you can find it yourself. But I did find this on Amazon. It's a lot cheaper on um, at Costco if you can find it at your Costco. This was only $20 and it is a 12 ounce bag. Matcha is very expensive. I don't know if you've tried to find matcha before. It's very expensive product. Um, it's a very high quality product, has a lot of amazing benefits, and I have been enjoying matcha um, with some almond milk, and I'll put a little bit of collagen peptides in there and then just have that like once a day. It's a really macro friendly, good clean energy, good for like brain clarity and, and supposedly, um, according to healthline.com, you, it helps increase, boost your metabolism and, um, increase fat burning. Who knows, right? I mean, that'd be great if it is, but it does give me some good energy and I really enjoy the taste of it. So this is definitely one of my favorite items this month. All right, moving on. We're done with food. So that's it for food. Um, lots of good stuff there though. You guys got to try those things. We're on to like, um, tools. First up, this little thing. So I love doing ground turkey, ground chicken, ground beef, but I do not like it chunky and, and big. I like really small pieces. And so um, rather than you know trying to chop it there forever in a day with your spatula while it's in the pan, 
You can use this. It is much, much easier. So you just chop it and you can kind of turn it as you're chopping. And then it makes the ground beef or ground turkey or whatever it is that you're, whatever ground meat you're using, nice and small. And if you like yours like that, then you definitely need this tool. I will link this. I got this on Amazon. All right, next up is my favorite scale. I love this scale because it is super small, easy to just fit right into a small drawer in my kitchen. So it's not a hassle to pull it out because I use it all the time. If you are my client, then you probably already have this or you need this because it really is, it takes the guesswork out of serving sizes and it really makes sure it makes it so that you are absolutely on point with your macros whenever you can be right whenever you can control your portion sizes because you're making your food at home use a scale it kind of makes up for all the times that you have to guesstimate when you're out of the house but this one is super affordable i don't know it's like 12 bucks or something like that on amazon i will link it it's from inevifit I just like it because it's got just what you need. It's got the little functions that you need. It's small, it's light, it's compact. You can easily take this with you if you're traveling, if you want to take it with you for whatever reason, or um, just keep it in a small drawer in your kitchen. It's not going to take any space up. And if you're interested in macro tracking and making sure you're on point then, and you don't have a scale, then you are really, really missing out. You really, really need to incorporate a scale. All right, I also do a beauty, fashion, and home favorite. So if you guys are interested in beauty, fashion, and home type stuff, make sure you check that out. I will link that video here. Um, but this particular item that I'm about to talk about, I actually talked about on my beauty, fashion, and home video as well. So it might be a repeat for some of you, but I wanted to bring this up again just because I love it so much. It is my Yeti. It's a 30 ounce tumbler. From, you can get this on Amazon and they do have it on Amazon now. It's $35 and I absolutely love it. It does not come with a straw. It's got just like this slide lid up here that slides, which is great. But I like to drink out of a straw. I also got these straws. They come in a pack also on Amazon. The tip is silicone and this straw is actually stainless steel. And the reason why I wanted to mention this again, besides the fact that I absolutely love this cup, it keeps ice cold for like 24 hours like it keeps it frozen is this thing so like these things kind of go hand in hand for me because I fill this with ice I never really know how many ounces I'm actually getting so what I do is I use this which I also got on Amazon which is one of my favorites as well this is 85 ounces I fill it up at the beginning of the day and I pour, I refill this cup from this. That way I know when this is all gone, I have hit my water goal for the day. It's really the only way that you'll know if you hit your water goal. So together, these are really, really making a difference in making me hit my water goal. And they're definitely some of my favorite items that I've been using this month. All right, guys, that is it for this month's healthy lifestyle favorites. If you like what you see, please comment below. Or if you've tried any of these things already, comment below. I want to know what you think. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Also hit that bell to be notified when I come out with new videos. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.